My friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I am so literally glad you are here in my craft room with me today. So uh, I want to make a tassel today. I've been working on this puppy journal this week. I showed you or did a video where we picked out the, some of the pages. And so I went ahead and finished it up this week. And, uh, and I, I'm deeming it done now, <laughs> but I need a little tassel for it. I looked around at my tassels currently ready to go, and uh, none of them were exactly right. And I looked at my clock, and I said, oh, I have 17 minutes, now 16 minutes, before I have to get ready for work. So I thought, let me see if I can make a tassel in that amount of time. So let's get started. Let's don't delay because, you know, 16 minutes is not a really a long time to make a tassel. These ribbons here I already had on my desk. So I said, let me use those. And then I pulled out these two yarns here. Really pretty. And look, look how they match the journal. I looked over and saw these and I was like, oh, I have to use these. Very nice pink to go with. This is, I noticed this on the camera or Maybe on the video too, it's showing up more red, but this is more of a pink. Uh, uh, maybe a peachy pink, but more pink than peach or red. Anyway, just to clarify the colors. And this one too is white with all these pretty different colors in it. <clears throat> so I thought this would be fun. So let's see. Let's um, Let's get started because like I said, now I'm down to 15 minutes. <laughs> so we're going to race the clock here and see how good we can do. I'm making a little tassel here before the, my time is up. So I'm thinking about, <clears throat> let's see if I do it about like that. Uh, yeah, that should be not too long for the journal. So I'm going to cut this and this will be my little kind of go by or template like uh, measurement for my length of my tassel here. This journal is about eight inches tall and this particular piece of yarn is 12, uh, about 14 inches. And that is kind of my standard. That's kind of a standard that can go with just about any, unless it's a little mini journal, just about any journal. <clears throat> So we got one of those so far. I like to do kind of pretty much usually two of each uh, ribbon or strand of ribbon or yarn or eyelash trim or whatever that I'm doing. So let's get two of these. Uh, this isn't the type, even though it almost looks like it, the this isn't the type of, I don't think this would come unraveled. So I don't need to tie a knot on the ends. If it's a type of yarn that looks like it might come unraveled or unwound, I put a knot on the end. Anyway, two of those. Uh, the, both of these I think I got at, you know, I think I might have got these at Dollar Tree at one time. Uh, do I need to pull that off or can I pull this out without? Let's see. If I can pull this out without, of course that might take more time. We'll see. I kind of would like to keep this on here and keep it, um, me from having to put another, uh, rubber band or something around there. <clears throat> so one of these and, and see if we can get one more out here. I'm just pulling on it so I can see where it pulls over here and then I can pull it through. There we go. So two of those. And I wanted something besides the ribbons because it adds a nice, if you put something besides just ribbons, <clears throat> it adds a nice texture in your tassel and it just really makes it you know like this will make it fluffier because it is fluffy and then you know it just really looks nice with all the different colors you don't have to see I got one of those let me get one more you don't have to you know you it's like more you want it to more coordinate <clears throat> than match if that makes sense uh, and the more I've found the more, the more, you know, colors you have, if it's a colorful journal, uh, the more pretty it is and more fun it is. So, I don't know. 
<laughs> that's just me. Maybe that's just me. But maybe not. Okay, two of these little sparkly green ribbons. I used most of these in the journal, and I had them out here. So I just said, let me keep these out and make a tassel with these. This is a sparkly blue. One, two. Uh, let's see, we got that one. We, got, we don't have this one yet, or these, or, and that's it. Okay. Um, I may grab, I may pause and look at my eyelash trim real quick and make sure. I mean, let's just see how fluffy this is. Like, it doesn't have to be super fluffy or anything like that either. So, you know, it can just be a few strands. You don't even have to have this many. Just the fact that you have a little tassel is fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Isn't It can just be like four strands. You know, you fold them in half. Then you have like eight strands hanging down. And there you go. You have a little pretty little tassel. It doesn't have to be a lot. I just had all these out here, so I'm using them. These are some little gingham ribbons. Uh, these gingham ribbons I believe I got from Timu. I always got most of my ribbons from thrift stores. And then Timu came around with their low lower prices, so... I felt like I could finally <laughs> get some more ribbons. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Of course, I have got some ribbons on sale at um, in the clearance aisle at, uh, I think it was Michael's one time. I was there, and they had a bunch of beautiful ribbons. Well, I say a bunch. I think I only ended up buying two or three. But uh, they did have some a lot of nice ribbons. But they were wider, and I do like the thinner, you know, not as wide ribbons for tassels. So, uh, let's see if I can, uh, make sure, let me see if these are divided up. I might not get any more. Like I said, I don't need, I don't need a lot of strands of ribbons to make a tassel. And this is quite a few already right here. So, <clears throat> these are kind of curling up. So I'm trying to, okay, there we go. So, yeah, see, it's going to look like this. Isn't that pretty? Let me see if I can make sure. They're kind of even here. Before I get my ring over here, I want to pull them so that the same amount of ribbon is on both sides. Seems like uh, some of them are much longer than others. Even though I have my little <coughs> template, template ribbon. Let's see, what is this doing? This one's okay. There's another one of these that seems like it's kind of long. Where is it? Here, here, here it is. It's long on the other side. Yeah, okay, there we go. And I can trim them if I need to. Okay, so there we go. Now let me get my little, let me get this ring that's going in the middle. And go ahead and put that around. And then I'm going to get a, I'm going to cut a little piece that can go around the top here and make it bring it all together. How many minutes do I have left? Nine whole minutes. We're already at this stage. So we're doing pretty good. Let me separate this pink. These two are wanting to, there's another one right here. I don't want the I don't want it together. I want I don't want them separately. Separate. You know what I mean? Okay, there, that, that's better. Okay, there we go. It's coming together. Let me see what what do we need in here? I think maybe the see all the color. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? I think maybe the pink yarn. Let me get one more of those. And let's see what's coming out over here. And I'm gonna get a nice long piece because I want it to tie around the top and then hang down so and I'll show you what I mean <clears throat> just one second here uh, so I want it to hang down and have room to tie around <clears throat> let me take a sip of my coffee here it's morning and I'm going to be getting ready for work in a minute like I said so my voice is kind of waking up I didn't really plan on doing a video but I just kind of put, I had one thing yesterday, I was working on that journal yesterday morning before work, and I 
had one more thing like at the like I was kind of done with it and then I thought oh I, here, you know I just thought of one more thing I wanted to do but I was out of time <clears throat> so I got the pieces ready and then this morning I just finished off that page and and then I thought oh I need a tassel and I walked around looked at my tassels that I already have made none of them went and then I said well let's let's do a video let's make a tassel and video because I haven't made a tassel on video in a while because I've made so many on video that, you know, I don't, you know, maybe you guys are sick of seeing me make tassels. So I, was, I haven't made one in a while, but I thought, let me make this one on video because, I mean, look how cute. Okay, so it's hanging down plenty far. Uh, so I have room to make a bow. Let me, I'm tying that kind of tight. Let me make a knot here too. Because uh, I have plenty of yarn here. And I'll secure this nicely. And then I could just let it hang down at this point. But like I said, I have plenty of yarn here. So let's not, let's try not to waste it. <laughs> and cut off pieces that might get thrown in the trash. I'll make a little bow. This yarn is really cool. It has uh, these little bits on it. Plus, it's just fluffy and pretty. I can't believe I found that at, I think I found that at Dollar Tree. I really do. But I might have found it at the thrift store. I've gotten yarn at the Dollar Tree and at the thrift store. That's why I'm a little bit confused about where I got it. But anyway, wow, that looks really pretty. See, it's not, it wasn't a ton of ribbon, but it's just enough ribbons and, you know, yarns and things to just make a pretty tassel for this journal. I'm glad I added that extra pink because that was the pink that goes with that journal cover, the, the color that goes with that journal cover the most. So let's do a little trimming here because I have a couple hanging way down. So don't, you know, if you make a tassel, it's okay to trim it, you know. You can save your bits if you want, if they're big enough like that. <laughs> this is not For me, that's not big enough to save, but maybe for you it is. And so... Let's see how she looks. She's really pretty. I think that's good. So how's it going to look on the journal? Let's see. We've got the journal. I think it's going to be the perfect little tassel. See this has blue in it and a little green and black. There's even a little orange down here on this little puppy. So let's get a paper clip. I'm grabbing just any color. Got a yellow one and a white one. Let's do the white one since there's white in here. And again, this is a notebook ring in case I didn't mention it, which I don't think I did, but it opens up and you can hang it that way or remove it that way. And then this little paper clip, clip I'm just going to slip over the edge. And let me see. Let me see how I want to hang this. So I want to hang it like this. I think I do. I think that's how I want to do it. So I'm just going to slip this over the cover in a spot here, and there we go. The perfect little addition to, or addition or finishing touch to this journal. So cute. Look at all the pretty ribbons and yarn in there. See how that fluffy yarn really makes a difference? I love it. Uh, so pretty. Uh, it's so perfect. I can't even believe it. And and we have four minutes to spare. Wow. I really didn't think, I, I really thought I would be going over my time now, but uh, we didn't. So there you go. You can make a tassel so quick. I did have my ribbons out already because I was working on them, but you can do the same thing. If you are working on something where you have a bunch of ribbons out or whatever, trims, yarns, things like that, <clears throat> and you're cleaning up, make yourself a tassel. Even if it's not for this journal or what you're working on, you can make one, have it in your stash, and it's ready to go for when you do need it. So thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that quick little uh, fun tassel, and I'll see you in my next video, which should be a flip through of this journal. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.